Wesley Wees Briscoe is an American professional wrestler known for his time in total non-stop action wrestling, where he is a former member of Aces and Eights. He is a member of the Briscoe wrestling family. The son of former championship wrestling from Florida mainstay Gerald Briscoe and the nephew of former NWA World Heavyweight Champion Jack Briscoe. Professional wrestling career. Equals World Wrestling Entertainment equals Briscoe signed a developmental contract with World Wrestling Entertainment in 2009 and was sent to Florida Championship Wrestling for further training. He debuted on March 3, 2009, winning a battle royal. The next year, he formed a tag team with Xavier Woods, winning the Florida Tag Team Championship on November 4, 2010 when they defeated the previous champions, Johnny Curtis and Derek Bateman. On December 1 Woods and Briscoe vacated the Tag Team Championship, after Briscoe was sidelined with an injury. After this, Briscoe was released from his contract. Equals Independent Circuit Equals, after being released from WWE. Briscoe started wrestling in the independent circuit, primarily in Florida. Briscoe debuted on independent circuit at Florida Underground Wrestling, on October 14, 2011, when he teamed up with Dakota Darso and defeated J.D. Maverick and Kennedy Kendrick. The two teams began feuding and took each other on in one-on-one -on -one in tag team competition with both sides achieving wins and losses. On March 6, 2012. The feud culminated in a no-holds-barred street fight to become the number one contenders for the FUW Tag Team Championship which Maverick and Kendrick won. Briscoe and Arso split up looking for greener pastures in singles competitions. Briscoe defeated Bruce Santee only days after the team's loss and went on to lose to Santee for the FUW Heavyweight Championship. Their feud ended in a dark match at Ring of Honor with Santee once again coming out on top on April 24. Briscoe defeated Fidel Sierra for the FUW Cuban Heavyweight Championship. He would hold the title for several months, fending off opponents such as Sam Shaw, Nick Fame and Darso. On July 7, Briscoe lost the Cuban Heavyweight Championship to J.D. Maverick and that also turned out to be his farewell match. Briscoe went on a month-long tour of Puerto Rican promoting World Wrestling Council which started on July 14 when he defeated Mr. X. He also defeated Donnie Fugged About It and Johnny Fugged About It with J.D. Maverick to crown them as the first CWF Tag Team Champions at CWF Super Clash on August 4, 2012 in Orlando, Florida. He also won another tournament with Cassidy Riley, defeating the Headbangers, to be the first NWA Ring Warriors Global Tag Team Champions. On October 26, 2012, at a World Wrestling Council he competed against the WWC Universal Heavyweight Champion Ray Far copyright Nixon and Andy Levin in a losing effort in a non-title match. He wrestled a loser leaves WWC match versus Andy Levin in a no contest after Ray Phoenix interfered, and attacked both of them at the same time with two steel bars. The following week, he competed with the same stipulation, except this time it was anything goes, and he defeated Andy Levin, to fire him. On February 23, 2013, Briscoe and Riley lost the Ring Warriors Global Tag Team Championships. On March 7, 2014, at NWAFUW a dues of March, Briscoe defeated Michael Tarver to win the NWAFUW Heavyweight Championship. He lost the title on November 28, 2014 against J.D. Maverick. Equals Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling Equals Debut Briscoe made his Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling debut on the October 11, 2012, episode Impact Wrestling, in a backstage segment with Kurt Angle. Three days later at the Bound for Glory pay-per-view, Briscoe appeared during Angle's entrance. Briscoe would then begin to feud with the villainous Aces and Eight Stable, alongside Kurt Angle, after fending off the stable with a metal pipe, during a tag team match between Aces and Eights and Angle and Garrett Biscoff on the November 15 episode of Impact Wrestling. Angle then recommended Briscoe to for TNA's Gut Check program. The following week, Briscoe defeated Garrett Biscoff in his Gut Check match, becoming the first contestant to win their tryout match. On the next episode of Impact Wrestling, the storyline gut check judges agreed to give Briscoe a TNA contract. Briscoe wrestled his first match on a TNA pay-per-view on December 9 at Final Resolution, teaming with Garrett Biscoff, 
Kurt Angle, and Samoa Joe to defeat Aces and Eights in an eight-man tag team match. On the following episode of Impact Wrestling, Briscoe and Biscoff teamed up to defeat Robbie and Robbie T in a tag team match. Aces and Eights On the January 31st episode of Impact Wrestling, Briscoe and Biscoff revealed themselves as members of Aces and Eights and attacked Kurt Angle, turning heel in the process. Briscoe explained his turn the following week, claiming he should not have had to start at the bottom due to his Briscoe family status. On March 10 at lockdown, Briscoe defeated Kurt Angle in a steel cage match, following interference from Aces and Eights Vice President Glo Brown. On the September 5 episode of Impact Wrestling, Briscoe and Garrett Biscoff defeated the TNA World Tag Team Champions James Storm and Gunner in a non-title match. On the September 26 episode Magnus, Samoa Joe and Sting defeated Garrett Biscoff, Nux and Briscoe in a six-man tag team match after Joe made Briscoe tap out to the cock in a clutch. After the match, Bully Ray came to the ring and told Briscoe that he was out of aces and eights, but Briscoe refused to hand his cut over to Ray. Ray then hit Briscoe with a clothesline and a pilly driver, after which Nux and Biscoff eventually took the cut off Briscoe and gave it to Ray officially removing him from the group. After four-month hiatus, TNA announced that Briscoe was released from his TNA contract on January 13, 2014. Equals New Japan Pro Wrestling Equals On April 14, 2014, New Japan Pro Wrestling announced that Briscoe would be making his debut for the promotion representing the National Wrestling Alliance on May 3 at Wrestling Don Taku 2014. At the event, Briscoe unsuccessfully challenged Satoshi Kojima for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Briscoe returned to the promotion on May 25 at Back to the Yokohama Arena, where he and Rob Conway unsuccessfully challenged Tenkozy for the NWA World Tag Team Championship in a three-way match, which also included K.E.S. Briscoe won the Paragon Pro Wrestling title and the match was aired on November 21, 2015 on P.O.P. Network. Personal Life Briscoe was born in Tampa, Florida and has a brother named Joseph who is a grad student at the University of South Florida. He is the son of Gerald Briscoe and nephew of the late Jack Briscoe. In wrestling, finishing moves, Briscoe role. Managers, Bruce Thup. Entrance themes, Dead Man's Hand by Dale Oliver. Championships and Accomplishments, Continental Wrestling Federation, CWF Tag Team Championship A Euro with J.D. Maverick. Florida Championship Wrestling, FCW Florida Tag Team Championship A Euro with Xavier Woods. Funkin Conservatory, FC. Bang Hardcore Championship. NWA Florida Underground Wrestling Signature Pro Wrestling, NWA Florida Heavyweight Championship, FUW Cuban Heavyweight Championship. Ring Warriors, Ring Warriors Global Tag Team Championship A Euro with Cassidy Riley. French Lake Wrestling Association, FLWA Heavyweight Championship. Paragon Pro Wrestling. PPW World Champion. Pro Wrestling Illustrated, PWI ranked him number 101 of the 500 best singles wrestlers of the year in the PWI 500 in 2013. Total Nonstop Action Wrestling, TNA Gut Check Winner. Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards, Worst Gimmick Aces and Eights. References. External links. Wiz Briscoe on Twitter, Wiz Briscoe at the Internet Movie Database.